This morning, Glen County supervisors have declared a local drought emergency. Action News Now reporter Defet Serrato is live in Glen County. Defet, what does this mean moving forward? Linda, this will allow the county to look into funding options for homeowners who are experiencing a water shortage. Supervisor Grant Carmen tells Action News Now there are at least 40 dry wells in the county, and it's putting a strain on farmers who depend on wells to hydrate their animals, water their crops, or do everyday routines. With this local emergency in place, supervisors are hoping to create a resource for people to get portable tanks or delivery services. Also look into the options of being able to provide grants for people um, to be able to drill a new well. Um, from what we're hearing, it's anywhere from thirty to $40,000 right now to have a new domestic well done. I think they're on the right track, trying to get ahead of this before it becomes a real issue. This is all part of an ad hoc committee called the Drought Task Force. Supervisors Carmen and Tom Arnold are members and will hold their first meeting this Thursday. In that meeting, they will meet with several reps from the irrigation districts nearby, as well as the DWR. And this morning, Linda, there is water here at the Calusa Canal. Can't take that for granted. Live in Glen County, Jafet Serrato, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thank you, Jafet. In our next half hour, Jafet will show us how people living in Glen County are having to cope with dry wells. Monday night, the Orland City Council met to consider issuing its own drought emergency proclamation, and we are working to determine whether that passed.